Well, let's take a live look now from the Pascagoula River as people along the Mississippi Gulf Coast are preparing for Sally to make landfall. Governor Tate Reeves issued a state of emergency ahead of the storm and has asked President Donald Trump for assistance from FEMA. Colleen Peterson kicks off our team coverage in Pascagoula with how things are looking right now. Good morning, Colleen. Good morning, Devin. Water levels rising well ahead of Sally. Just 40 minutes ago, it was high tide. Check out how far the water levels have already reached. This is indicated by the sticks and beach debris that was brought on shore. Now, this is Beach Boulevard right now. Also, seeing some marine life being churned up from the Gulf. This is a jellyfish that was walked on shore. So, if you're heading out to the beach or walking along to check out these sites, uh, just watch out because marine life is being washed up shore and even in the inland communities you never know what could be hiding in the flood waters but looking offshore the water levels are actually pretty uh it's high that's because of the storm surge even though the waves aren't really rocking again a little under 24 hours away from sally just nearing the mississippi and louisiana coast it is a possibility of seeing a landfall here along the mississippi sound so over the next few hours make your preparations and heading towards the evening that's when we can start to see the gusting conditions right now about 10 to 15 mile per hour sustained winds at this moment and partly sunny skies, but heading towards the afternoon, of course, that's a different story. A storm surge warning and a hurricane warning here in Jackson County. I'll be here monitoring the situation reporting live in Pascagoula. I'm meteorologist Colleen Peterson, WKRG News 5.